Dearly beloved, sincerely departed, we just getting started. Salute to the subscribers that notification game, ricegang.myshopify.com. Log on to get your merchandise. I've seen people asking me about the Tupac, the red joint with the Rice Gang on it. There will be some of them available probably around the time this video drops. If you want one, get one while they're there because when supplies is gone, they're gone. But uh, I want to talk to you guys about a couple things today. You know, I throw them all in one. So we can get the job done. Conceited, salute to Conceited and everything that he's got going on. Wilding out, you know he uh he's been doing his thing for quite some time. A lot of seasons of Wilding out, and has really much took his success to the next level. You know, one of them. What you want to do when you get a viable platform is you would like to build off of it, move on to bigger things. You know, expand your brand. That's what you're supposed to do. Conceited obviously started in battle rap way back grind time days arsenal versus cortez a lot of the old school battles that some of the younger fans might have never even seen conceded to some may be like an anomaly a lot of the new fans that probably just came into watching battle rap never really can seen conceded or know him only from wilding out well here's what my the way i looked at it when cassidy was not around to go line for line punch line Back when Cassidy was nice, not this one, not remove this one. But when he used to be good back in the days, kind of like you know when um, Will Chamberlain scored 100 points, but the, the game wasn't on camera, so nobody really seen him score 100 points. But it was documented, it was proven he did. But back then, when Cassidy used to be nice, he was one of the illest punchliners ever. Punchline for punchline for punchline, and when he didn't battle, that style was kind of missed. Conceded was one of the really first punchline guys that went line for line for line for line with the punches. You know what I'm saying? Conceded as has been documented for saying, you know, he's a fan of Cassidy. Obviously, um, people always wanted them to the battle, but now Conceded has moved on to while and out. Hasn't really battled in a couple of years, and you know he's one of the original top tier guys. Like when Conceded came in, he was pretty much top tier. Battle Sue Surf, you know, he has some other battles, Battle B Magic, and we haven't really seen him since he took off and went on to the Wild and Out fame. Well, he's now in talks to come back and battle Wales but the Ultimate Rap League. Um, Twan the Don, salute to Twan the Don on Instagram, jumped in Conceited's comments and said, come back to URL, nigga. Conceited replied and said, I am next year as in he's coming back to URL and next year. Um, you know, so a lot of people, you know, this tweet was going around. I mean, this message was going around and made it to Twitter and made it pretty much everywhere. And people were talking about Conceited possibly coming back to battle. Now, has the game changed since we last seen Conceited? Hell yeah, the game has changed. Um, back when he was in, it was a lot of the material is not the same. You know what I mean? Now it's a lot more angles. They used angles back then, but it's a lot. It's, to me, I just feel like battle rap has transitioned. You know, like back in the days when Rex and all these other guys first started, they would have like 20 verses go to every single hood and just battle everybody with the same verse. Now that's called recycling. Um, it was recycling then, but now it's super recycling. Like if you use some shit. The fans are so good now. Salute to all of the subscribers, yo. First of all, I never even really asked this. Where are y'all from? In the comments, represent where you from. Rep your side, where you from, and so we can salute that. But now the fans are so good with it that if you use a line from a previous battle, they will call you out. If you see all of the videos going around with people talking about twerk and then Calico have recycled it, I'm on the Gnetti block with where Geechee at. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, I'm through with you. Nigga, we know what he did. But uh and twer and um Shug had just recycled his BET round. Like the fans will catch you and they will catch you quick. You can't do that shit no more. Um I always looked at it like I didn't think Conceited wanted to battle no more because I was like, he has so much to lose. He has millions of followers on Instagram. He's, you know, doing good. Like, and to come down here and to dance with these hungry wolves, you risking a lot. Like, you really are risking a lot because these niggas got nothing to lose down here. And the only thing that they could, that they could gain by battling you besides getting paid is some of your success. And I know there's battlers out there who would love to have the success of battling the conceded. Um, I asked earlier in the, um, you know, on my YouTube, who did they want to see conceded battle? And most of the comments have been Tay Rock and Rum Nitty. 
Tay Rock, obviously him and conceded four foot five and still ducking. John John gonna make me steal something. Like we know Rock had took shots at conceded and they had talked back and forth with each other back in the days, but conceded obviously went on to blow up and do his thing. And obviously Rock has stayed inside, you know, the URL. And you know, he's been battle rapping, doing what he do. He do music too, but Conceited really like took off. Like Conceited, Hitman Holla, Charlie Clips, Sharon, all of them folks that's in Wildin' Out really took their popularity to another level. Um, obviously, Tay Rock stayed around and he's still battle rapping. And you know, I kind of asked Rock earlier, would he battle a Conceited? And he kind of was like, you know, snore, like the snore sleeping emoji. Cause the reason why is Conceited says every year that he's gonna come back and then he doesn't come back. So every year he says next year and then next year turns into the next year. So he's kind of like, he would, I know he would do it, but he's not pressed over no um, Conceited Instagram post or no shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Other than that, with Rum Nitty, I would like to see him battle against a Rum Nitty because Rum Nitty has revolutionized the punchline for a punchline, for a punchline, for punchline style. That style that, and I don't say him and Conceited don't sound nothing alike, but Rum Nitty has definitely, he took that shit to another level. Rum Nitty is like an alien with it now. Like his, the way he punches, nobody punches in the world like Rum Nitty right now. I know B Magic had a crazy punchline style, but B Magic has had so many transgressions and going up and down, and his biggest enemy is himself. B Magic on 10, three rounds, hard to beat. Nobody can really beat him when he's on his shit, but he beats himself more than anybody can beat him. So I really, B Magic, you know, it, you know, Conceded was part of SONS, Heartless was in there with the crazy punches, and, and you know, the rest of the crew, but Conceded was always the star. Um, Rum Nitty has taken that game and he has revolutionized that shit to the maximum. I seen other people, you know, they were saying, what about Cat? I, I don't want to see Conceded versus Cassidy. No, if I don't ever see another Cassidy battle, it won't be too soon. Like, I, I, I no, I'm good on that. But uh, if he wants to come back, Tay Rock or Rum Nitty? Those would be my primary two choices. Uh, probably a small room. I mean, Conceited has a lot of stage presence and star power. And, you know, he got the jokes and he got the punches and shit. When he battled Hitman, I really didn't like it because the niggas was playing around with each other, joking and shit. So he didn't really take that battle serious. But when he's wilding, like when he was versus Sue Sir, that's one of the best battles in history. Like, you, I don't really think you can name 10 battles better than Sue Sir versus Conceited. You know, the Quran when I muzzle him. You know, he started that fucking, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he started the whole fucking, you know, the, the, the fucking psych. I just dissed you, nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just dissed you, nigga. And he'll fucking switch the whole shit. Um, but I would like to see it. A lot of other shit going on in battle rap. Um, obviously, this weekend, you got ladies and gents car going down. Chef Trez versus Ill Will. I'd definitely be checking out that battle. And there's some other battles on the car, you know what I'm saying, that I'll probably peep in on. Um, I won't be giving like battle for battle for battle recaps to like I got shit going on this weekend So I'm not gonna sit and watch the whole shit when it happens But I'm sure I'll probably get to it that night or the next day and we'll make sure that we get those recaps out um, Lou Castro versus your honor just dropped uh, I'm not gonna do a full recap on that battle. I watched it, but like this is just the thing I be talking about with a lot of new guys like and I don't really be recapping a lot of new guys battles because I know they be really emotionally invested like all oh, these niggas is hating oh, blah, 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 blah. but they both had like stumbles and shit in their battles so I mean I felt like Luke Castro got the first um I felt like Yana got the second with the whole oh, my shoes better than you my clothes better than you my hoes better than you my gear better than you I do more views than you who is you I like that type of shit that was some next level shit I did like it and then he reversed it at the end like your niggas don't like you your bitch don't like you your house I like that type of shit but overall the battle to me was just okay like it really wasn't too crazy like that like they had a couple moments but you know he your honor said something about uh he took the twerk line and said if fluenza or some shit like that he need to cough it up if fluenza like it was the reach but um the battle was cool but between Don Marino and Swamp and between now Lou Castro and um your honor I, I mean they are right but the, the battles ain't really like that like I, I know a lot of people be like oh the weekend was so crazy but when you watch the shit back some of these battles, they're not really panning out. I'm just being honest with you. Like, it is what it is. I mean, maybe there's better in the works. Hopefully, you know what I'm saying? Maybe there's, maybe there's better in the works. It is what it is. I'm not hating. I'm going to just, I'm going to be hands off. Unless the battle is like super fire, 
then I'll recap it. But if it's not, I ain't recapping it. I don't work for none of these leagues. I recap what I want. It is what it is. But um, yeah, so Conceit is talking about coming back. Uh, hopefully he do come back and we see him soon. Uh, on URL, definitely. I don't, you know what I'm saying? No disrespect on other leagues and the other stages and platforms, but I just want to see Conceited on the URL in that small room, you know what I'm saying? Smack in the middle, you know, fucking, uh, the fucking Don DeMarcos and air horns and shit like that. Just to see if Conceited could still perform in this era and compete on, at this level, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I want to see. Can you still do this shit at this level? I don't know, Conceited, because you more of a model and shit now. You be like having Instagram posts and shit. And ain't nothing wrong with that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Get your money hosting parties, wilding out, y'all going on tour and shit. But if you come down here to the to the to the ground level, there's some killers out here right now. You got away with it. But you ain't gonna get away with it. You know what I'm saying? T-Rex voice. Some killers out here. It's, it's, it, it, the game has changed a lot, and when you come down here in this in this yard and see, giving that backyard and fight, you are gonna see the niggas done got nice. I think you can still do it, but uh, it, it, you I don't know if the like 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 punchline is gonna work in this era. Even niggas like Rum Nitty had to switch up the way he punches, like the way it can't be so predictable. You know what I'm saying? Chain got ice. Like the top of the fridge, the gun bangs like a tool set. But conceit is nice though, so I'm gonna just give him that benefit of the doubt. But other than that, you already know what it is, man. RiceGang.myshopify.com. Log on, bitch ass nigga. Bye.